Welcome to your English class. Today's date is 10th of May. Day is Monday. Chapter, our topic is chapter 4, A Christmas Wish from your main course book. So children, let's first discuss what is the true meaning of Christmas. So it was the Savior's atoning sacrifice that made holy that night in Bethlehem. So what happened? That night Christ was born. All of us know it and it is celebrated as Christmas. So we must always remember that Christmas is not about, about buying uh, gifts and celebrating and eating good food. The greatest gift you can ever own is not found in the shops or under your Christmas tree. It is found in the hearts of your loving family and your true friends. So children, we must always remember that Christmas is most truly Christmas when we celebrate it by giving the light of love to those who need it most. As children, we are privileged enough to uh, celebrate Christmas with great pomp and show. We must also must not forget that there are people uh, out over there who do not have their bit of celebration on the day of Christmas. So we must not forget them. Instead, we must try to make it special for them also. So today we are going to read the poem A Christmas Wish by Eugene Field from your main course book. So here you can see the picture of the great poet. Eugene Field Sr. was an American writer. He was best known for his children's poetry and humorous essays. He was known as the poet of childhood. He was born on 2nd September 1850 in St. Louis, Missouri, in the United States and he died on 4th November 1895 in Chicago, Illinois. That is also situated in United States. So his spouse was Julia, children was Eugene Field Jr. and parents was Roosevelt Martin Field. So now, children, before we proceed with the explanation, let's do the recitation of the poem. Let's read it, recite it fully. A Christmas Wish by Eugene Field I would like a stocking made for a child and a meeting house full of toys. Then I would go out on a happy hunt for the poor little girls and boys. Up the street and down the street, and across and over the town. I would search and find them everyone. Before the sun went down, one would want a new jack knife, sharp enough to cut. One would long for a doll with hair and eyes that open and shut. One would ask for a china set with dishes all to her mind. One would wish a Noah's Ark with beasts of every kind. Some would like a doll cook stove and a little toy wash tub. Some would prefer a little drum for a noisy rubber dub. Some would wish for a storybook and some for a set of blocks. And some would be wild with happiness over a, little, over a new toolbox. And some would rather have little shoes and other things to warm other things warm to wear for many children are poor and the winter is hard to bear i would buy soft fannels for little frock and a thousand stockings or so and the jolliest little coats and clocks to keep out the frost and snow i would load a wagon with caramels caramels and candy of every kind, and buy all the armored and pick nuts and taffy that I could find, and barrels and barrels of oranges I would scatter right in the way, so the children would find them the very first thing when they awake when they wake on Christmas Day. So children, here is a lovely poem by Eugene Field where he wants to do a lot of things for the people who are deprived who do not have their share of Christmas. 
he wants to share a little joy among them by spreading oranges and giving them gifts and he would he would like to share the light of love and joy among all those who are deprived from celebration of christmas now students we are going to read it stanza wise in detail i would like a stocking see children there is a picture of stocking where it is stuffed with goodies so what is the poet telling us the poet is telling us that he is going to make a huge giant like stocking and a meeting house full of toys he is going to stuff it with toys and full a meeting house full of toys i would go out on a happy hunt then he would go out searching for little children little boys and girls throughout the town on each and every corner and give them their share of joy their share of gift on the christmas he would search each and every everyone out in the streets and he will make sure that he no one is left out and he will he will complete his work before the sun went down one would want a new jack knife sharp enough to cut so he knows that some children might want a jack knife that is a sharp object used for cutting one would even want a doll with hair and eyes that open shut so we also have seen this kind of doll with long hairs and whose eyes blink so uh, the poet knows that a child can even want that some can also want or crave for delicacies spread out in china set so one might ask for that also and one would wish a noah's ark here you can see a picture of noah's ark it is a biblical story children about noah who got instruction from god uh, to build a huge ark or a huge boat ark means boat where he was instructed by god to carry all the species of animals along with his family so that the upcoming natural calamity which was going to befall on earth every species is saved and they can breed and like that the earth won't come to an end so this was the biblical story which uh, which is being referred over here so he is the poet is making an allusion to the poem to the biblical story in the poem so one can ask for this kind of ark with a uh, number of species or animals everywhere some would like a doll cook stove and a little toy wash tub some would prefer a little drum for a noisy rubber tub so some children can want doll cook stove others can wish for a wash tub and some can wish for a little drum with which one can beat and make loud noises and have a merry christmas and have a cheerful christmas and enjoy themselves so children we will learn the poem till this much today and this is your class assignment that is you have to write down this spelling twice in your english text copies the words are stocking jack knife prefer a cross noah's ark and christmas i hope you have understood today's lesson we will discuss more about it in the life class thank you all of you and have a great day ahead